Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to My Twisted Life TV. I am Poetry. You are here for Travel and Talk Tuesday. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Y'all know I'm not in a good headspace. Those of you who follow my community board know that I've been struggling with my technology. I recorded three videos um, in the past couple days, and the files got corrupted doing the transfer. Usually, um... And I was able to recover at least the audio for Harlots. So you got an audio video today with a bunch of pictures from the TV show. And I do notice some of those scenes from last season, but that's okay. I needed to fill the space. I had I had 30 minutes. I dropped that sucker down to 20 minutes. So I took 20 minutes out of the recap out. I mean, 10 minutes out of the recap out. Uh, come on, y'all. I like it. Ben Green. It's Ben Green. What shade of green you waiting on? Lime? Emerald? It's green now. Dang it. Okay. So, I'm about to head into work. I'm late. I had no intent. I swear, every time I look at my clock at the crib, and the clock say it's 720, and I'm like, okay, I got five minutes to get out the door. I uh, put my shoes on, go grab my keys, and then by the time I make it to the car, it's 735. Like, it's not a 15-minute walk, which is basically a mile from my bedroom to the garage. So why does it take me 15 minutes to get settled in the car? I'm like, I don't know what's going on with the time lapse that I'm <laughs> involved in here. It's just like really upsetting my being. I had some stuff I wanted to tell y'all. I need to start writing shit down. I really do. I need to start writing shit down. Cause I am forgetting things. I know I'm forgetting stuff right now cause I have a stressed state of mind. I recorded videos, right, on Sunday. Videos that were already late because they were supposed to be up on Friday. Went to go transfer the files because, uh, you know, I put them on the Mac to try to make sure that the, the image quality is better, uh, the sound is better. Um, create my little funny looking thumbnails. I'm really working on my thumbnails. I, I like them, but I don't, so I don't know. Um, but I'm trying to like do little things with the thumbnail. I do all that through the Mac, you know. I used to do it through the PC. So I have to transfer the files from the camera to the Mac so all that could, you know, be worked out. Well, this time in the transferizations, I know that's not a word, but in the transferization of the files, they got corrupted, which basically means they didn't transfer over properly, right? Oh, I go back to my media card. Part of the files are still there. Part of the files are on the the, the uh, computer, but they can't sync together any longer. So I remember when I had my um, my laptop, I had a program on there that I could recover files. It was real easy stitching to get. You know, it was real easy to do. But when my laptop crashed, you know, none of my stuff got saved, so I don't know the name of the program anymore. And uh. So I was trying to research, trying to get all that fixed. Finally found two programs that possibly could have, should have worked. One of them, the video came back completely, y'all. My voice didn't match the video. Okay, so I was like, okay, I got the video. Let me try again and see if I can uh, use the other program to get the audio. Did the other program, it said it worked fine. So I'm like, cool. So now I'm finna like pull those back into the software program so I can get it ready and prepare for YouTube and nothing on either one. The one that looked fine completely, I mean at least the picture, ended up being 10 seconds. The one that, uh, the second one where I got the sound, I, I, I thought it was done completely too. It's just sound and it's a green screen. So that's what I end up using just to give y'all harlots. It's been stressing me the hell out. Like I can't even lay down my little baby hairs. I ain't got baby hairs. I got adult hairs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got adult hairs. I ain't got no baby hairs. Um, but yeah, it, I'm, I'm, I'm shedding. I know I'm shedding. I'm stressing. It's, oh my gosh. But I'm going into work. I'm late. I uh, didn't plan on being late at all. They got me on a new assignment again today. Why my shirt? Y'all ever seen that laundry commercial? I want to say it's tied. They say, um, when your shirt look like this, the dude on the date, 
and he take off his jacket and his shirt look all ragged like this. So they said his clothes wasn't 100% clean. I took mine out the package like this. This is a t-shirt I bought. It came like this. So you trying to tell me my t-shirt came dirty? Oh, let me move my mic because I think I'm getting out of seatbelt in it. So yeah, my, I'm up here looking like a damn Tide commercial. People thinking I got on a dirty shirt. It just came out the pack with the neck all raggedy looking like this. I ain't wasn't gonna turn it back in. I paid three dollars and ninety nine cents. I pay. I get what I pay for. I get what I pay for. Speaking of t-shirts, if y'all like t-shirts from YouTube creators, um, Beautiful Soul Speaks has opened up her boutique on her channel. She has some beautiful t-shirts that um, for sale. Um, Random TV reviews. They also have. I think they're still selling their no bullshit t-shirts and stuff like that. Check them out. They merch. Um, I don't know if Ramlin K is still selling her t-shirts. I haven't seen her advertising any longer, but she may. Uh, so check out these people. See if they still have products available. I do know. I found out from YouTube. I found out just from YouTube didn't tell me shit. I found out that if you don't have over ten thousand subscribers, you can't set up a, a merch link that you're selling your own products on your channel so um i know i said i was gonna get some merch on this channel but some stuff i just be like i'm doing too much i'm doing too much i'm still trying to get these videos together properly and then make that look proper one day i'm gonna have me a whole production team you know where they could film for me and do my editing for me and that's all i gotta do is be the face one day i'm gonna do that you know i'm gonna get I don't know. Yeah. I had to pay attention to how I turned the corner because they looked like they was coming over to my lane and this one, like it was going over in that lane. I wasn't sure what they was doing. Gave me the ugly look. I wasn't in your lane. You was over there. Okay. But yeah, so one day, one day I'm going to grow up and I'm going to be you no know, productionist. Not productionist. What the fuck am I going to be? I'm going to be, well, whatever. I'm going to be big one day. I'm going to grow up. Anna L.A. was like, girl, you need to just quit your job. Become a full-time YouTuber and writer. I wish it was that simple. I wish it was that simple. If it was just, um, if I was solely responsible, no. I ain't going to even lie. I was going to say, if it was solely responsible for me, I can quit and do it. I can't even lie. I like having uh, money in my bank account. Right now, I earn seventy-five dollars a month from YouTube, so that's that's not gonna suffice. That's not gonna suffice. And being that I moved to Florida, my um, disability check ain't gonna cover my expenses here. I need to have another source of income with that disability check. If I was li still living in St. Louis, I could live off just my disability check alone. But here, everything is kind of like doubled as far as living expenses. Um, but so yeah, nah, I ain't gonna be able to do that. Not right now, but. I shall be able to do it in the near future. I'm claiming it, pulling it out of the sky, making it manifest. Yes, within the very near future, I'm going to be able to do this. I am. Right in YouTube. That's going to be my, my bread and butter. Soon and very soon. Soon and very soon. Oh, no, I don't want to see that because they said we're going to see the king. I don't want to see the king soon and very soon. I want to stay here and live life on earth for as long as it's possible. I know y'all, some of y'all out there, y'all want to go on the glory and be with the Lord, but not me. I, we cool. We could talk from down here and call them up on the main line and tell them what I want. But I don't want to go just yet, not see him face to face, you know. Cool. I made in this image. I know what he look like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Okay, so, man, y'all, the other day, I went and got another massage. I went to my oasis. I don't know what it is up in the oasis. But they, I have no problem getting a male or a woman masseuse. None at all. I'm very comfortable in my own skin. Um, so I can get butt naked in front of anybody. Um, so they gave me a male. And when I first walked in, that's all I saw was women. They usually go find a man to give me a massage. Now, I don't mind because the men usually have very strong hands and I like a deep massage. Now, I've never told them I like a deep massage. I was like, you know, the first time I went, I said, you know what, I'm just going to let them do what they got to do. And if I need it deeper or whatever, then I would let them know. 
But <clears throat> last time I told this girl I wanted a deep massage, she came in with elbows in. Why you got your elbows in my back and my spine? It's, that don't feel good, sweetie. No, they don't. Your elbows, I don't want that as part of the doggone process. So anyway, they gave me this dude. Now, he doing his little massage thing. Let me tell y'all. That man's little Peter. Kept rubbing up against my arm and my hand. You know, I'm laying on the bed. The bed ain't that wide. I'm laying on the bed. And I say, I feel Peter. Rush, rush up against me. And I'm like, what? Wait. And I didn't think he was doing it intentionally. I didn't think he was doing it intentionally. But the man's little Peter became Big Peter. And I think after a while, he was like, I can't take this stuff off. Because as I said, I don't think it was my body or nothing like that, even though I'm sexy as a bofo. Because it it gradually grew every time it brushed my arm. You can feel it like he trying to he can't really stand back from the table because the man wasn't that tall. I'm up here laying down getting the massage, right? Oh. 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 First of all, let me tell you, I ain't never experienced this in my life. Not with the Peter thing. I don't experience this me and Peter's bubble against my arm during a massage session before. But I've never experienced my masseuse taking a phone call doing my massage. I, I don't know if he had a Bluetooth on. What happened? But his phone kept buzzing. I wasn't tripping off his phone buzzing because my phone was on private and it was buzzing too. It didn't bother me as long as it wasn't ringing. But when he answered it, he was still massaging my neck and my back talking on the phone he tried to whisper but the person on the other end i could hear them clearly now they were speaking in the phone language because the, the person this was at an asian massage place <laughs> so i don't know what she was saying but she was loud and she was not happy so i think he had to take that phone call <laughs> but every time that she got louder he got deeper into my skin i was like i don't know what she mad at you about but don't take it out of my back bro he answered that damn phone. I was like, he really did that. Now, he uh, he did try to ignore it. Like I said, it, it buzzed a lot of times before he finally answered that phone. And I heard him say, he said in English, though, he was with the client. And she said, oh, okay. And just kept talking. I was like, there go your tip, dog. There go your tip. It just completely depleted at this point. He got off his phone call. He apologized, like, sorry, my bad. I, I had to take that. You had, you could have stepped out the room for a few seconds, even though I'd have been, I don't like when massage therapists do that either. Don't step out the room on me. I'm paying for my time. Give me my time. On top of the fact, he talked a lot. He kept asking me, he didn't really talk a lot. He didn't have a lot of conversation, but he kept asking me, am I okay? Am I okay? Is this hurt? Is too much pressure? Is too... Okay, uh, some of y'all amateurs, y'all would like that. Y'all would like for y'all masseuse to be attentive and to let, so they can know whether or not they pressing too hard or moving too or don't touch dirt. Y'all may like that stuff. I'm, I'm a pro at this shit. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm the, the pros fall asleep when a massage happens. See you know what I'm saying? You get your hands in good. I'm trusting you already because I'm fully naked in front of you on this table. It's played out. I don't know you. I don't even know your name. I didn't even ask your name when I came to the room. So I'm already putting my trust in you. One, I know these most of these Asian massage therapists, they not licensed therapists. You can't make me believe that shit. Half of them don't even speak the language. So you can't come up and tell me that they passed the test or uh, uh, got registered with the bar. And they um they licensed now. Ain't no fucking way. Um, so but normally massage therapists are licensed. They don't went to school for it and shit like that. So I, I'm expecting you in my medical just like I would any other doctor or technician, you know, with my nudity. So, uh, so you don't got to keep questioning me. Is this feel okay? If I'm not stopping you or telling you stop or that's too hard, or, then don't talk to me doing my massage. Let me get into my own head space. Sometimes when I get my massage, this is when I meditate. So quit fucking interrupting me. I don't like that. So he, but he kept doing it. He was like, 
I guess he was trying to be professional. He he didn't ask every time his little Peter hit me though. So next, some girl opened the door. Don't come into somebody else's session and have a conversation. Whatever the hell you need to talk to them about can wait to after my session is over with. I'm nine minutes. I'm gonna be 15 minutes late to work today. Um, but this chick came in, want to have a conversation with him. Then all of a sudden, I felt something scrape up against my damn leg. I was like, "What the fuck?" And um, I was like, "Okay, is that a zipper now? Is he crawling on my body? Cause now I'm getting nervous." Then I felt another scrape. Girl, open my eyes. He ain't even there no more. Whoever the chick was that came in, switch places with him. I didn't even know what happened. I didn't feel the hands exchange places, nothing like that. I saw, I felt all of a sudden something scraped me. It's like he was going up my leg and then all of a sudden something scraped me. It was her. She switched places with him. Now, when they switched places, I felt like I cheated out of my damn massage because she, as soon as like she finished the leg, did what he was doing, she put the hot stones back on me. He was done with the hot stones. We had already did the hot stones. He had already rubbed the oils in. He had already brought the wet towel, you know, to move the excess oil. He already did that. After she did my leg rub, she put the hot stones back on me. She put the hot stones back on me. He had warm stones, ones that kind of melted into my skin and got into the crevices and the nooks and the crannies. He had that. With oh, She put this hot ass motherfucker. That's where that burn mark come from. I got a burn mark on my inner thigh. And I was like, where the fuck this burn come from? It looked like a birthmark. And I was like, I ain't never had a birthmark on my leg before. I thought it, I tried to wash it off because I thought it was dirt. That's where that fucking burn came from. She put that hot motherfucking stone on me. I was like, bitch, that burn. <laughs> that burn. Get that off. He, we already did this part. We, we already did this part. So she like, okay, well, flip over. Flipped over. What they supposed to do to, to you know, the arms and the upper chest and you know the front part of your legs and your feet and flipped over she beat the shit out of my legs it said okay we're done the fuck we not that I, I looked up at the clock though it was time <laughs> he that filled up the whole hour he spent a lot of time i think with them hot stones he spent a lot of time on my back and legs but i felt neglected on the front part but it up until the phone call though, it was a damn good massage, and I, I, I was easily able to disregard the fact that his Peter kept hitting my arm. Luckily, he still was he was still clothed, you know. What I'm saying I didn't have no ma no male Peter, no naked Peter hitting up against my arms. It was just it, it is. I don't know. Maybe he switched with old girl because he, you know, his Peter couldn't. It's Peter kept getting to Big Peter. I don't know. Some of y'all don't find that funny. Y'all be like, y'all a bit pissed off. No, he didn't. I think he was just trying to sexually harass you and whatever. Or take advantage of you. It didn't, it didn't feel that way to me. I just found it funny. <sighs> Whew. Like maybe he was new. Like I said, because I've had other male masseuses where they Peters would brush up against my arm every once in a while, but I never felt them grow to big Peter in the process. I've had women masseuses where they were JJ because they leaning over in me done brushed up against my arm because that's just how high the table is or how low the table is. So that has never bothered me. And I've actually sometimes don't even pay attention or catch it, but this time I was able to pay attention. <laughs> I just got a good chuckle out of it. I got a good check a lot of it. Whew. Oh my goodness. Shoot. It was something else I was going to tell y'all. Uh, we got weevils. You know those little black little... I, got, I call them... Uh, grain roaches. Um, Open up my cabinet. I don't even know what the hell I was going to get. I think I just saw one in the cabinet. I was like, oh, everything got to go. I got to throw everything away. Um, flour, sugar. Oh, I was about to make some pasta because they get into pasta too. And I was looking at the container to see how much at the box to see how much 
was left like did i need to go to the store and buy another box and there was weevils in it so i threw it away and i threw away anything else and then i saw a few of them crawling in the closet okay from what i learned when you start seeing them they grown they've been there for a while them little motherfuckers could live a year they lay up to 250 eggs a day so y'all know i don't like bugs i'm spraying the shit out of this cavity they say clean it with with vinegar and a eucalyptus oil i got the rage baby the ortho all that i'm spraying the hell out of it and throwing everything away went to the other cabinet i ain't even see him over there i'm spraying that shit too and throwing it away now my mama had some pancake mix she was like i don't think there's none in the pancake mix she's you know did her little test and it wasn't nothing there she decides she's gonna keep this pancake mix i'm like throwing all away throw it all away pancake mix costs a dollar 69 she's like no nah, we gonna she gonna keep it right well a week later because this happened last week a week later she went to go make pancakes by george they're there i told her to throw that shit away so i had some sugar that i hadn't opened and some um flour that i hadn't opened i threw that away because i picked up my rice and they was in the rice this was a bag of rice that hadn't been opened a lot of stuff that I got like you know sealed containers, but these are the things I hadn't put in sealed containers. Throw that shit all away. Spray the second cabinet out. Um, she said she wiped it down, cleaned it out, whatever. So uh, <clears throat> yesterday, she decides to ask me what I was gonna put back in that cabinet. I was like, I don't want to put nothing back in there but bottles and canned goods. I rarely, rarely, rarely buy canned goods because canned goods. Some of that shit be 10 years old. They just got a new label on. Canned goods can hold for 10 years because they got the formaldehyde and shit in it. It's all the extra sodium in it. So I try to stay away from canned goods as much as possible. I do a few things canned goods, but not a lot. Okay. So that's the only thing I'm putting to this cabinet, right? It's the canned goods and the bottles. Like the soy sauce and the Worcestershire sauce, barbecue sauce. Um, but everything else, we, we moved out. I put in some sealed containers and would go forth with that. Um... So, you know, my mama had this conversation with me about what I wanted to put back in there, and I told her what all I threw away, and like the sugar, there was a black speck in the sugar. I, I looked at the black speck, it was just a speck, I don't know what it was a speck of, but it wasn't a weevil, but I was like, I don't care, throwing it away anyway, and I told her all this, I told my daughter all this, whatever. So, at, later on that day, my, my mother decides to tell my daughter how I have such a warped perspective of what to do with weevils and basically try to dog walk my ass because I threw shit away. Okay. Now mind you, we had a conversation, you and I. Don't be going to my motherfucking daughter behind my motherfucking back trying to talk about me behind my back like my daughter ain't gonna come fucking tell me okay two if you really look up weevils and shit they ain't tell your motherfucking ass all the shit I threw away should have been thrown a fucking way once we start seeing those adults throw it all away now you can sift through flour they claim Sift that whole little motherfucking bag and try to remove larva that has not hatched. Larva which you cannot see, but the larva normally doesn't go through the sifter. That's why a lot of people sift flour and stuff before they bake. They removing the weevils, the weevil larva. Okay, you could do that and then stick it in the freezer for a week before you use it. Cause there are kills any ones that you didn't catch. Now, I found out that a lot of times the larva and stuff is already in the, the meal, the flour, the, from the grocery store. Because they grow out there in the fields like that. They lay the eggs and shit in the fields and they package the shit up and they bring it on into the store. So they lay dormant in the flowers and the meals and the stuff like that. Especially if you ain't, you know, use flour and stuff in a long time. I don't use a lot of flour often because I don't fry a lot of foods often. So, um, like I don't my last box of pancakes when I was eating pancakes I was making waffles every day and I stopped doing that so 
you know, I go on binges of certain types of food. So the pancake mix was going to be there for a minute, you know, before I got my little urge to eat them again. So these things grow into you. They, 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 eggs and stuff, they already there. So, you know, you can, they say you can kill them by putting the flour in the freezer for a week, you know, and then come back out and you can cook and, cook and eat because all the larvae is dead. You don't see it anyway. And I know y'all think, oh my God, this is nasty as hell. There's bugs and everything we probably eat, y'all. Peanut butter has on average of 100 roach legs in it. Natural peanut butter included, really natural peanut butter because, um, but yeah, so that's why you need to wash your food and, you know, clean your meats and all kind of stuff. You need, there's certain things that you need to do to prepare your food before you start cooking and eating. Like you go, I had a garden, remember back in St. Louis, I had a garden. You had to be very diligent of the food that I ate from that garden. You got to make sure it's clean property, properly. Um, make sure it didn't have any mold attached to it. Uh, it what's the, oh, damn? I forgot the word I was going to say. Beginning with the L. There's things that you no, know, I can get sick from if you know it, it ain't completely um, matured and. You know, all kind of stuff you can do. So there's things, even when you grow your own food, you still got to be very mindful. Especially if you're not using pesticides. And remember, in my garden, I didn't use pesticides. Um, especially if you're not using pesticides to kill them. But if you use the pesticides, now you got to wash all the damn pesticides and shit off. You know. So, the fact that she was telling me that I shouldn't have threw all this shit away. Because they gone now. She done wiped down the cabinet and the sinks. Motherfucker, they lives in the food. They live there. They live there. And if the adults are there, they done, they done laid some motherfucking eggs there. Whether it was open or not, trust me, they in there. Okay. So, I bought new shit. And I, damn it, Keena finna be tripping again because I took the damn sugar with me again. I bought new stuff and uh, some more sealed containers so I could, you know, put the stuff in there. Um, But this morning, I get up. About to leave out the kitchen, and she stopped me and asked me why the French fries are in the refrigerator instead of the uh, freezer. My res initial response is because that's where I wanted to put them. <clears throat> French fries are just potatoes; they're uncooked potatoes. They don't have to be frozen. I eat potatoes a lot. That's why I'm fat. I eat potatoes a lot. I like potatoes. That's one starch that I. I hate to give up but I eat potatoes a lot so I don't necessarily have to have them frozen keep refrigerated is what I do so I could put them in and I know how often I'm gonna be eating them and I know how quick I want them to be prepared um, I don't like all that ice that be on side of on, on the inside of the bag so she asked me why did I put them in the refrigerator and I was like I guess that's where I wanted them to be but why because that's where I wanted them to be. Like, I'm fucking grown. I bought the damn french fries. I put them where I wanted them to fucking be. The hell you questioning me about my damn french fries for? Now, I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. I actually didn't remember putting them in the refrigerator. <laughs> it's something I would have done. Because I know that I was going to eat some more the next day. But I honestly don't remember putting them in the refrigerator. But the fact you, the way you come in and question me about why the hell, why is this in the refrigerator? Oh, uh, can you tell me why? Why? Why do you care what I did with the food that I purchased? I can't stand being questioned about shit. That's, that has nothing to do with you. Like, the reasons that I do things that they ain't got shit to do with you, why the fuck are you questioning me about them? Ugh! It's worked my nerves this morning. That's why when I got the call, I was already in the bad mood because it had just happened. That was this morning. It had just happened. Don't be questioning me about shit like that. The fuck you care for? Gosh. You got a problem with my refrigerator french fries? Then go buy your own freezer frozen french fries. She ate up all my damn last bag. Shit. That's why I had to buy this new bag. <sighs> we went to go check out some places for her to live, though. Um, hope she could start applying and get in them soon. Just time is winding down. Time is winding down. I knew that person was gonna pull out. I'm glad I changed lanes. Mm. 
I don't know how long I'm going to be at work today. Because like I said, I've never done this assignment before. Yesterday I was done by 5 o'clock. Um, the assignment I was on yesterday I had did a couple times. Which was weird because um, they they took a lot of the, um, the clients off of that person and gave them to somebody else. And when I when I had the full roster, I was done by 4:30. And now that she got less people, it took me longer to do it, which was that's like what the hell? I don't know what was wrong. I, well, I, I think the setup must have changed or something. I don't know, but it was weird. It was weird. It but really it took me longer, and I didn't like that. <laughs> but it was like a simple task to do today. I don't know. I think I'm <sighs> dealing with people in apartment complexes. I ain't walking up on no third floors. If I recall correctly, this place that I got to go to today, there's a third floor and there's no elevators. And if, and last time I went there, I was just helping the person out. Cause that's, I have never done the extra job. I'm just helping the person out. And everything that they gave me was on the third fucking floor. Oh, I'm not ready for today. I'm not ready for it today. My legs hurt from yesterday. And uh, the damn hot stone that burnt the shit out of me. That got to be what that is. I, I'm like, I really do have a long mark on my leg. It look like, but it's smooth. I don't know what the fuck that is about. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, this video gets super long. Let me get the fuck off of here. Um, it's already a 30-something minute video. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being here. Appreciate your patience. <clears throat> After today, I'm no longer apologizing for shit that goes wrong on this channel. I'm only going to apologize for things that are in my control. And those things were not. So, yeah. Just know from here on out, if shit go wrong on the channel, follow the community board to find out what the hell is going on. And that's going to be y'all apology there. Talk to y'all later. Peace.